Before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is a great way to buy Rocket League items and credits on any platform at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to go and check out their website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. I'm giving away a white octane every 1,000 subscribers on the channel. All you have to do to enter is drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and then finally head over to the Discord using the link in the description down below. Head over to the giveaways channel and then finally enter the giveaway. That's all you have to do, and good luck to everyone that enters. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video and the finale of Nothing to Alpha Cap, episode 97. We finally managed to do it, and before episode 100, which is an absolute dub, just before we get into the trades, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone that has supported me on my trading journey i'm not going to be stopping here i'm going to be doing more nothing to some things in the future so make sure to subscribe like turn on post notifications because this was a massive journey so we're going to be trying to go for 300 likes on this episode and uh, i really hope you do enjoy this one but anyway let's get straight into the first trade of the finale of nothing to alpha cap Okay, so heading into the first trade of the video now, I basically already have enough to get the alpha cap in my inventory. The problem is I do have to sell some of the items which are still stuck, such as the black sunburst, which are valued at 6,000 credits, but they are very hard to sell. And also the forest green tunica, again, very hard to sell. Same as the crimson shattered. In the first trade, I do sell on the black zombies for 900 credits, sort of filtering out the inventory. At this stage, I was still trying to get to 205,000 credits because I thought that's what I was going to be paying for the alpha cap so i was still trying to make profit throughout this series i've learned a lot more about trading certainly which items make me more profit for example this forest green tunica it's made me around 850 credits profit it took a while to sell but in the end i got a ton of profit off of this item now if you're a very experienced and patient trader i would definitely suggest buying and selling items such as painted tunicas painted zumbas painted dices try and pick them up for anywhere between 500 and 1 thousand credits below their minimum value and like me you most likely will struggle to sell these items on but after a couple of days or maybe even weeks you should be able to sell it for its minimum value and therefore get yourself at least 500 credits profit it's better to do this if you have a big inventory so you're not spending all of your credits on one hard to sell item because if you do that you're not going to make any progress until you get that one item sold for example if you only have an inventory of around 2,000 credits and spend that all on a painted dicey you're not going to make any progress until that dicey is out of your inventory but yeah for the more experienced traders it is definitely a method that i would suggest it's made me thousands of credits over the course of this series and i definitely do it again if i was making another series we are also selling on one of the black stones for 800 credits another item that is really good this is a different method of trading with this item however it is buying and selling high demand items so for example a high demand item is an item which loads of people are looking for so if you do buy it it's going to be very easy to sell on again over the course of this series i've found the best high demand items to make me profit it might differ for you but i found that white fenix any painted octanes any painted fenix in general white just tends to be the best painted zombas painted dracos those items are going to be really good and also painted standards especially white black and gray i've made a ton of profit on especially those paints we also do manage to sell on the black sunburst for six thousand credits i was really lucky that i found this trade because it is the minimum value and it has a very low demand so i really wasn't expecting anyone to pay that much for my black sunburst but i'm glad i got it gone i made 1500 credits profit on the item like i mentioned i'm pretty lucky that i did manage to sell it on but I mean, I sold it on for 6,000 credits. I'm not going to complain. 1.5k profit on one single item is insane. I'm not sure if I've done that throughout this entire series. So doing it on the last episode is quite fitting. At this stage, I also realized that I was able to buy the Alpha Cap for just 203,000 credits. So I ended up quick selling the Crimson Shattered. I'm pretty sure this guy knew the channel as well. So it's nice to give a little bit of profit back to the community. But yeah, we just quick sold that. I don't actually think I made any profit on it. I might have bought it for 1.4 and then sold it for 1.3. So he actually ended up losing credits on that item but it doesn't really matter i'm always looking to experiment with more items see what does and doesn't make me profit because then i can learn new methods and share my findings with you so that you can make as much profit as possible also flips he's my server leader on discord i gave him a ton of profit here i did sell on my blackstone for just 300 credits uh they are worth 800 but uh i'm, I'm always open to giving him a little bit of profit but it did take me up to the 203,000 credit mark so that i was finally able to buy the alpha cap this 
has been a massive journey. We started all the way back on October the 8th and we've been going for a very long time making profit. I haven't given up. I've wanted to many, many times, but you guys have made me keep on going. So massive shout out to you for uh, supporting me along my journey. Also, I mentioned this in a couple of the recent episodes, but I don't actually know what I want to do with the Alpha Cap when it is in my inventory. So let me know down below some ideas that you have. Should I keep it? Should I sell it? What should I do? Because I literally have no idea. But here I am transferring all of the credits over to the green fire. I am capped at 10,000 credits per trade. So I had to do about 21 trades until all of the credits were transferred over. Oh, I do just want to say if you are buying an alpha cap, it is always a good idea to get a middleman so that you're not just giving someone a load of credits and trusting them. I know the green fire pretty well. He's a YouTuber as well. If you do want to go and check him out, I'll drop his link in the description down below. But yeah, I knew he was not going to scam me. Just be careful of this because it has happened in the past and obviously you do not want it to happen to you especially if you've just done a nothing to something series you've poured months of effort into a series and then you get scammed at the last minute that is the worst thing that could ever possibly happen but here is the last trade of the whole entire series i've paid exactly 203,015 credits for this alpha cap here we go it is going into my inventory after months and months of effort thank you to everyone that has supported me on my way to this alpha cap it has been an amazing journey we finally got it i'm going to be doing more nothing to something in the future so make sure to smash the like button but i cannot believe that we have finally got this item in the inventory i know a lot of you have been inspired to make your own trading journey so let me know down below how that is going for you or if you finish your series what item did you go to or just how your trading journey is going because i've been doing loads of trading journeys i've been trading for years on end i'm gonna keep on going because i know that you guys are loving these videos and i do not want to stop here i might not be going to another massive item like this next i'm not really gonna let myself have a break either i'm gonna go straight into another nothing to something series i'm thinking maybe a black tunic or something worth around 20,000 credits i just want to not go for a massive item right now but in the future it is definitely a possibility I might even use the alpha cap to go to another item I know some of you have been commenting about the alpha boost the white hat and I'm not gonna lie That is gonna be extremely difficult, but I could at least try I guess it would take probably years, but uh, why not give it a go? But anyway, I just want to give again a massive thank you to everyone that has watched from day one Let me know if you were here from the first episode massive shout out to anyone that was Let's try and go for 300 likes on this episode because it is the final I mean you've got to give it a little bit of love as always, comment Alpha Cap if you have made it this far into the video. And as I mentioned, don't worry, I'm going to be doing more Nothing to Some Things in the future. I might take a little bit of a break, maybe a week to sort some stuff out. But after then, we're going to be grinding it out again. And we're going to be trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for the insane support on the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.